Web 2.0 has become characterized by applications that connect people and technologies that link data. The Internet has become a platform for creating, storing, and delivering both applications and data, making access to one's information possible from any Internet-connected device. New opportunities for using the web emerge when applications and data live on the Internet and users can access them from almost anywhere. Web-based tools for collaboration, software infrastructures for building complex web applications, and technologies for sharing information are all products of the Web 2.0 era. These developments lay the groundwork for an emerging web where machine intelligence, meaningful search, and a personalized user experience will guide the next wave of web applications. Cloud computing describes how applications are stored and deployed on a network of internet servers. The cloud is a symbol used to represent the internet. Users of a cloud computing service interact with and manage data and applications stored on servers located in a remote data center accessible via the internet. Cloud computing service providers offer service space and processing on an as-needed, on-demand basis. Computing resources may be allocated dynamically as applications require additional bandwidth or processing power. Customers pay as they go for the computing storage and resources that they actually use in a given period of time. Rather than storing data or installing applications on a user's own computer or on a company's own server, data is stored and applications are run on servers operated by companies such as Google, Amazon, Microsoft, and Salesforce. From the user's perspective, the location of the application and the data that it accesses aren't important. The fact that they're available in the cloud is what matters. Cloud computing includes three main areas of service, infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service. Infrastructure as a service is the delivery of a networked computing infrastructure over the internet. This infrastructure includes high-end servers with increased storage and processing power, internet connectivity, a secure environment for housing equipment, and online tools to remotely manage and monitor performance. IAAS, as Infrastructure as a Service is known, provides infrastructure for storing files in the cloud so that users can access them from anywhere, and also for managing virtual servers using software tools. Platform as a Service, PAAS, is the delivery of a computing platform over the internet. Developers can create and deploy large-scale business web applications using development tools that are hosted within the cloud. PAAS provides the tools for storing, running, and monitoring the performance of social networking, business, and computing applications over the internet. Increasingly, platform as a service is becoming available to consumers from services such as iCloud. Software as a Service, SAAS, is the delivery of software applications over the Internet. Software applications are stored and deployed from servers on the Internet. Software as a Service provides the ability for business applications such as Salesforce Social CRM and consumer applications such as Google Docs or Microsoft Online to collaboratively create documents, spreadsheets, and presentations to run over the Internet. As Internet access becomes ubiquitous, that is, found almost everywhere, and applications continue to shift from the desktop to the web, cloud computing suggests that it's more cost-effective to place computational and storage needs on a centralized system and provide users access to those systems with small, inexpensive devices like netbooks, smartphones, and even video game systems. 
The slide you see summarizes several features of cloud computing that we'll look at. Data storage in the cloud, software applications in the cloud, development tools and high-end servers in the cloud, scalability, pay-as-you-go, and location independence.